All right, hey, Shalom on my cam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekak Padash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there pushing his knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one who the world ignorantly, ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. Okay. Get up out of here. I just messed that up. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of who the world ignorantly called God the world ignorantly called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the most sign and son, you must say Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he to be or he is. By Hashem means in the name. And Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of modern day Babylon, aka America. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai. Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai. And the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. The water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for this opportunity, this 100% truth. And the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for all you beloved brethren out there pushing this knowledge and sincerity and truth. Lord willing to the end. All right, coming back, catch you another lesson through the Holy Spirit. We're going to um, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 12 on down. A day of reckoning is coming. Not only a day of reckoning, it's the year of exposure. 2024, 2024 hopeful year of um, the time of Jacob's trouble. Also is the year of exposure. A lot of things is coming out because the most is working throughout the earth. You got you to gotta realize the father of spirits controls everything. The Father, all right, of spirits, all right, Hebrews 12 and 9, all right, I'm going to start at verse 7, if he endured chastening, God deal it with you as with sons, for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? So dealing with your trials and tribulations throughout this life, you understand? Throughout this journey, all right? This walk and this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. But if he be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are he are bastards and not sons. So you you on the, you know on a good track when you're going through some you know strange things and. Back-to-back -back situations, it's all good, you know, because you, you're suffering for your sins. And this is the passage way to, you know, to make it to the kingdom. Furthermore, we have fathers of our flesh, which corrected us. Some of us was fortunate to have our fathers in our lives on a consistent basis. Some of us, you know, didn't have that. I was fortunate to have them here, you know, here a little, there a little. And I got corrected. <laughs> On different occasions, got my ass whooped on a few occasions, which I'm grateful for, you know. It was the same thing the Lord is doing with us, but different trials and tribulations we're going through. It's, this is all a learning process. It's one great education. And we gave them reverence. Honor thy father and thy mother, right? Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? The father of spirits and live. So the Lord is using, you know, all the human entities on this earth to get his message out, man. His son is about to make a, a grand um, appearance upon, the, upon this planet and reclaim back his planet. Before he returns, a, a, a series of things will transpire. All right. And, it's, and it is happening. Okay, you're doing wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, the righteous man standing in the righteous men standing in great boldness. 
Then with the prophets, the elect, the small remnant, Ezekiel 37. All right, the Most High is using the mouth of his prophets to condemn the wicked and to expose the wicked. The Most High got the internet. You're dealing with all my, what is that, Psalms 19 chapter. A lot of things is happening. A lot of prophecies is going on. But the, 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 the two main, the three last main ones at the time of Jacob's trouble. He's going to link up with the MOTB and World War III with number four. And Yahweh Shah returning, man. So a lot of things are being exposed right now, man. On a higher level. Okay, so going back to Isaiah chapter 2, verse 12. For the day of the Lord of hosts. Yahweh Tazabah, dealing with the angelic forces, shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. Upon everyone that is lifted up, he shall be brought low. Upon all the cedars of Lebanon that are high and lifted up, and upon all the oaks of Bashan, which is, is symbolic speaking, everything that's lifted up against the Mosai will be brought low. Upon all the high mountains, on all the hills that are lifted up this is all symbolic for different you know governments you know anything that's lifted up against the most high in this um what you call it um this environment that we living in man upon the wicked bearing rule spreading lies and deception you know people have a false sense of reality so so they they got the military might the vibration that's pushed out to the earth. Everybody's puffed up. They're pride. They're prideful. Okay. Shall be brought low. This is upon all the high mountains and upon all the hills that are lifted up. And upon every high tower. And upon every fence wall. So let's go into NLT on this real quick. He says he will break down every high tower and every and every fortified fortified wall. It says, upon all the ships of Tarshish, upon all of the pleasant pictures. So, let's get, get um, NLT on this. It says, he will destroy all the great trading ships and every magnificent vessel. NIV. For every trading ship and every stately vessel. So, you know, Esau. So, the nations got their um, they navy. Got their tree routes, got everything going on. This is a blessing. The Lord is going to destroy all that, man. Because the new economy will be set up under his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, and 144,000. So this establishment that's been set up, Babylon being the golden cup, the beast, America, the EU, the Russians, the Chinese, will be dismantled upon the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. It says, All the loftiness of men shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh alone will be exalted in that day. Let's just go to NLT on it real quick. Human pride will be humbled. Human arrogance will be brought low. Only the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will be exalted on the day of judgment. So all your celebrities, all these different things that we've been speaking about, or this high satanic um, vibration that's been going on, the, the, uh, the adrenochrome, the human trafficking, the drinking of the blood, all that is, we've been speaking on these things. So the Lord being the father of, spirit, of spirits is exposing Man, ultimately he's using his men, but everybody, the Heavenly Father is tapping into their pineal gland, to bring out some type of information to let, yo, this is it. Esau is at his end. Now, I'll peep this. I don't know if you noticed yet or not. I don't know if you noticed yet or not, but the age of secrets is over. The age of gatekeeping is over. The age of celebrity worshipping, it's over. The age of, wow, look at that guy, he has so much money. Worshipping that, over. We got Mark Zuckerberg building bunkers? You think bunkers are going to save you? You're rich, privileged, soft. 
think you're gonna be able to live in the bunker? You know who lives in the bunker is the age group. And people like that, and poor people, they're gonna survive. And how are you gonna come out of your bunker after that? What do you think we're gonna do to you after you come out of your bunker? What do you think, what do you think we're gonna teach our kids about the bunker people? You think we're gonna just let you build a bunker and after we t- you took all this money and you destroy the world? I don't know if you know. That's heavy, man. And that's that's what I'm. This is the vibration of the video. It is over. Everything is being exposed. It says, and the loftiness of men shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Here's the point. And the idols he shall utterly abolish. That's from your favorite athletes, actors, actresses, you name it. All, all this shit is being exposed. The Most High just took out Jacob Rothschild. 13, there's actually 13 so-called elite banking families. And the, and the main um, the, the heads of, the, of those families are Edomites, man. Right, so all your idols, everything will be abolished. Everything you coveted on this side, money, whatever, awards, belts, will be abolished. It's going to be for nothing. And the American dollar is going to crash. They're going to bring in another. Um, they're going to bring in an, another uh, a form of um, what they call it a digital, um, digital currency. So your money, everything you save, is going to be. Abolish. Here's a point to my Mark Zuckerberg. And they shall go into the holes of the rocks. Into the caves of the earth. For the fear of the Lord. And for the glory of his majesty. When he arises to shake terribly the earth, man. So all you so-called billionaires, millionaires, multi, whatever you build. You have bunkers out here in the United States. You're going to get buried. In those bunkers. If you have bunkers outside the United States, the Mosai is gonna command his men to come down there and get you and pull you out of them bunkers and fuck you up and put chains on you. Cause slavery is coming to you other nations. Stone over Esau. Alright? That's the kingdom of heaven. The Israelites and rulership are you other nations will be serving us. Stone of how Mashiach was shot, his kingdom. You're going to be joint ears with him. That's that's the great reset, man. All right. Let's get the NLT on this. It says, when the Lord rises to shake the earth, dealing with the nuclear destruction that's coming, his enemies will crawl into the holes in the ground. They will hide in caves in the rocks from the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty. All right. In that day, a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each one for himself to worship to the moles and to the bats. To go into the clefts of the rocks and into the, and into the top tops of the ragged rocks, dealing with the mountains and all that for the fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty. When he arrived to shake terribly the earth, this globe, man. So, yeah, man. What he said is over. I'm going to say it again. This yet or not, but the age of secrets is over. The age of gatekeeping is over. The age of celebrity worshipping is over. It's over. So, hey, man, giving all praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah and Lord willing. It's edifying lessons to the very elect. And we in Passover season. So yeah, man, the Lord really turns up around this time. Stay prayed up, brothers. A few sisters. Shalom.